can't believe they let me in with that SAT score. It's a flawed system. But hey, I'm not complaining. I get to go to my dream school, study my dream major, and live the dream of not having to wake up before 6.30 in the morning. And you sleep in for first period pretty much every day. Well, yeah, but in college I won't be sleeping pre-calc. Have you gotten any in that class? I will never understand. <laughs> Neither will I. I guess I'm just good at BSing my way through math. It's a talent. Hey, uh, promise you won't forget about me, okay? Oh, come on, Hall. I could never do that. You know, since I love you and all. But I mean, we won't be in the same place anymore, so it's a perfectly rational concern. Not one you have to worry about. You say that now. Yeah, I say that now, and I'm gonna keep saying it again and again. But you won't always mean it. Jeez, I'm pro, Holly. You're being stupid, and you know it. So I'm gonna change the subject now, since I'm sensing some tension here. Go for it, champ. Are you excited for tomorrow? Oh, crap. What's wrong? I forgot to buy your corsage and promise tomorrow. <laughs> Seriously? That's what you're freaked out about? Hal, I don't care if you buy me some dumb bracelet with flowers on it. Odds are, I'm gonna bump into someone, the flower is gonna fall apart, and all your hard-earned money is gonna end up in the trash. But I mean, it's important. Crappily made corsages are a rite of passage, a tradition. Plus, I already got yours. It's fine. I'll just be the guy of the evening. Guys have boutonnieres. Holly, there are more important things in life than corsages and boutonnieres. I can think of one way more important thing right now. Oh, what's that? Never mind. Well, okay, not fair. You started saying it, and now you gotta finish it. I, I was referring to your mom. Really, Anne? Holly, I just- I don't care, okay? It's, it's my mom, and it's my decision too, I think. A little harsh there, babe. Sorry, I just, you don't understand, okay? You don't have the same problem. Just because my parents have known for the last couple of years doesn't mean that I can't understand what you're going through. There are plenty of people that don't know, and I'm just as nervous to you to see how they're gonna react. I'm not nervous. <laughs> no, you're terrified. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm neither, okay? I have personal, perfect reason to be afraid, okay? Because I know what my mom's going to say, and I don't want to have to face it. You can't know with absolute certainty what she's going to do. Oh, I can't? Yesterday, I was watching TV in my room, and my mom walked in, and she saw the commercial for that MTV show about the lesbians. She said, I can't believe MTV is showing this kind of filth on television. How can I just come out to her when she says something like that? How can I think for a fleeting moment that she won't just kick me out and hate me? Seriously, that's what you're going on? What she said about some dumb teen soap opera? And I know my mom. I grew up with her and, and her beliefs. Holly, I just really- No, okay. My mom is not like your mom or your dad. She, she, when, she won't accept this, okay? She's just gonna kick me out and cut me off completely. And you'll come live with me. I have a guest room and my parents love you. I can't. Why? Because I'm not like you, Anne. I remember when you came out, you were just completely prepared and ready to go out on your own. I need my mom. She's all I have, okay? She's my mom. Being cut off from her would be like being cut off from my entire family. And I, I honestly, I'm just not strong enough to do that. Holly, you're strong. Maybe, but not strong enough. Hey, Mom. Hello, dear. Hello, Anne. Hi, Miss Simon. Oh, Anne, how many times do I have to tell you to call me Meredith? Miss Simon makes me sound old. All right, Meredith it is. So, Meredith. Hey, I Mom, Anne got into Cornell. Really? Yeah. Congrats, sweetie. That's a very good school. What do you want to study? I'm leaning towards creative writing, but I could also go for art history. You never know. Just go in undecided. Then maybe you'll find something more marketable. <laughs> oh, that's me. This will just be a few moments, girls. Take your time. Well, isn't she at a light? Why would you do that? Do what? Try to make me come out to my mom, damn it. I told you I wasn't going to, but you took it upon yourself to force me. Why would you do that? Because you're not the only one being affected by this. What are you talking about? Holly, I love you. I'm tired of hiding from your mom. 
She thinks that we're just best friends, and when we are that, you're my girlfriend. You shouldn't have to hide that from her, and I shouldn't either. What are you saying? You want to break up? Is that it? Oh my god, Hal, no. All I'm saying is that you keep saying that I can't understand what you're going through, but I'm standing here beside you, bearing the burden of your mom, whether you like it or not. I didn't... I didn't think of it that way. No, you didn't, but I can't blame you. Yep, have a good night. Thank you, Stacey. See you tomorrow. That was just Stacy confirming your hair appointment for tomorrow. Oh, good. 2.30, right? That's correct. Say, Anne, are you going to get your hair done, too? Uh, no, I decided to do it by myself. Oh, why is that? I always thought it was a special day in a girl's life, getting all pampered up before a big dance. Some of those hairstyles are awfully complicated. I think I can handle it. I own hairspray and a curling iron and bobby pins. I can throw something presentable together. Well, I'm sure you'll look for it. I'll try my best. You know, it's a shame you two don't have dates. It would have been wonderful if each of you had a boy on your arms. And the pictures would look much better with some cute boys in tuxedos. Yeah, no dates. What a shame. Uh, Mom, actually, I, I do have a date. You do? Yeah, and it's pretty amazing. Honey, tell me all about him. What's his oh. name? Mom. Is he tall? Mom. Does he no. play sports? Mom. I want to know all the details. No, Mom. Uh, actually, my date's not a boy. She's a girl. What are you talking about, Holly? <gasps> Anne. Anne what? Anne's my date. Oh, honey, I already knew that. You got me all excited for nothing. I thought you meant that a boy had asked you and swept you off your feet or something. No, Mom, you don't understand. Don't understand what exactly? Anne and I are, we're going, as dates, not as friends. Holly, if you think this is some kind of funny joke, I can assure you humor has been lost on me. Mom, it's not a joke. Ha, <laughs> Meredith. Miss Simon, you will call me Miss Simon, and I was not talking to you. I was talking to my daughter. Well, I hate to tell you this, but your daughter is gay. No, she's not. You've just confused her. I'm not confused, Mom. No one's confusing me. I'm gay. That's me. Oh, hush, honey. This is just a phase, and this phase ends now. Get out of my house now while I deal with the mess you've created of my daughter. I'm not going anywhere until you accept your daughter for who she is. You can count on that. Get the hell out of my house! Mom, she's going. I'm going, too. Excuse me? Mom, this is me. I love Anne, and I've loved her for the past couple of months. She cares about me, and she makes me happy. I can't keep lying to you about us, and about me. Please, Mom, try to understand. I am going to leave this house for exactly half an hour. When I return, I will either see my daughter here, and I mean the one that I raised, or I will see no one here. I'm leaving the decision up to you, Holly. For your own sake, make the right one. Oh, Holly, are you okay? I, I can't stay here. I, I know, I know you can. You can come stay with me. I'm not strong enough. Wh what are you talking about? You told her you were leaving. How are you not strong enough? Because I, I don't want to. 